Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week is Thanksgiving here in America. Woo! USA, USA. Uh, if you're watching Canada, your Thanksgiving happened a month ago. I'm assuming it has to deal with the metric system? I don't know. Um, Thanksgiving, it's that time of year where we, uh, we thank each other and, well, thank for the blessings of last year's harvest. And, uh, well, I'm not a farmer, so my cornucopia is just filled with Skittles, hummus, and pita chips. <laughs> I gotta find a better nutritionist because I'm probably not gonna live till 40 if I eat that every single day. Also, I'm glad and uh, thankful that uh, I wasn't coerced into playing Farmville this year. Speaking of, is that still a thing? I wrote that joke like about a year ago, so. Uh, over time! And finally, I'd like to ruin a franchise. <laughs> Power! Ah, uh, there's so many fun stories about Thanksgiving, it's hard to choose which one to share with you today. Uh, how about this one? I used to work at Disneyland while I was in college. That's right. I get cooler by each episode. Ladies, I am taken. And I worked there. I saw, actually, the turkey that was pardoned by the president. That's right. He was, his name was uh, Marshmallow. And he was the Grand Marshal of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And now, um, I barely could see him because security around this bird was ridiculous. It was so uh, tight-knit. You could barely see it. They just wanted to make sure there wasn't any foul play. Ah, yeah, that's right. So much setup for a popsicle stick joke. That's the kind of humor you'll only find here on Overtime and maybe a popsicle stick blog. I'm not too sure. It's kind of odd that we've only been pardoning uh, turkeys since 2002. Um, I don't think that's right. I mean, Ford pardoned Nixon in 1972. Uh, who wrote these jokes? <laughs> Are these old Johnny Carson bits? I mean, fire that intern. This is a um, good thing I'm adorable or no one would uh, keep watching this. Let's go into the brass tacks of this season. It's the season of deals. That's right. Get out your, your holiday money and your holiday shopping. I prefer Cyber Monday to uh, Black Friday or Pay, pay Loan Saturday. Um, but you got to be careful because there's, um, there's some trickery out there. You can actually get your identity Stolen, I did. Who would want to steal? Well, a lot of people would want to steal this, but um, it's never a good moment when your car declines when you buy a cheeseburger. Just kind of, ugh. That Carl's Jr. employee thought I was a deadbeat. But luckily, my bank knows me and contacted me right away, and I recorded it. Uh, Mr. Hover, there have been some uh, strange activity on your card. We think it might have been compromised. Did you eat Carl's Jr. twice today? Yeah, yeah, they were, but they were different meal times because of the, the morning ten thirty and the lunch. Uh, after I, uh, I was in the neighbor. Okay. I see. Uh, did you buy five hundred dollars worth of video games on Monday? Uh, I don't recall. Was it for a Nintendo sixty four system? That's the only one I have. But it does sound like something I would, I would do if if. If I had all, some money. Yeah. It doesn't indicate which brand of video games were purchased. Uh, then today it showed that you bought $1,000 worth of man's suits, and we just went ahead and red flagged that. Uh, let's uh, not kid ourselves. I, I just needed a cheeseburger. Tammy. Tammy. Tammy! I'll get out of here, Carl's Jr. Uh, they didn't even ask if it was me. They just naturally assumed that I wasn't going to buy a thousand dollar superhero suit. Could have if I had that good of credit. Huh. Why end on this episode about me being cheap? I can do that on my own time. Let's end on a segment, a new one that I like to call Thanksgiving Parade Fun Facts! Fun Facts! Fun Facts! Fun Facts! These are fun. Facts. Hey, did you know that the first Macy's Day Parade route went through a Gimbal's? That's right, these are all going to be true and factual. You can Wikipedia. It's fine. You don't have to Wikipedia because I'm going to tell you right now. Um, during the Prohibition, the parade floats acted as uh, speakeasies. They were disguised. You would pop right in and dance to Charleston while you had a, had a martini with um, Felix the Cat. Yeah, these are all true. Let's continue, shall we? In 1966... Uh, the parade debuted a Smokey the Bear balloon, which was 
Um, short-lived because it struck on fire. Mm, yeah, we got like four more. Stick with me on this, this whatever terrain. Um, probably the lamest two balloons ever to be debuted on the parade route was um, back to back actually. In 2000, there was an Ask Jeeves afloat, which was just a butler um, kind of representation of the uh, the dot com pop. If you know, it deflated, and so did uh, a lot of people lose their jobs. In 2001, um, there was a, a Cheezosaurus Rex balloon. From Mac and Cheese, remember the dinosaur? The balloon and the franchise was the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. There's going to be a lot of puns. You're going to complain about the puns below. Um, in 1993, the Sonic the Hedgehog balloon accidentally hit into a jewelry store due to high winds and gold rings fell below the crowd. It's this... Second. second. Um, lastly... Santa. Santa comes at the end of the parade, which is a lot of fun. It actually marks the beginning of the holiday season. This year, Santa showed up to the parade route around mid-October. Every year, it starts getting earlier and earlier. You just see Christmas decorations and all that jazz. Well, hey, you know what? That has been my late-night TV monologue audition tape. This is my cover, uh, signing off. <laughs>